Hello and welcome. In this video, I want to talk about how Rack Forms makes deploying forms really simple across all manner of devices. So as a demo here, I have a WordPress blog post. And this blog post uses an iframe uh, bit of HTML um, that Rack Forms generates for us. So if I'm in the Rack Forms editor, here's the form that we're working with. And all I have to do is just click this little I button and we get some iframe code. It's so all I've done is I've just taken that iframe code and pasted it into our post right here. And so when I hit update and go to our WordPress page, it basically looks like this, right? So we have a WordPress post and our form page. However, there's a problem. Um, and that is that this particular template is what we call a responsive template. Um, it follows a series of techniques uh, that are kind of under this general banner called responsive web design. What it basically means is we design one layout and then that one layout works across all devices. And the trick then is that it simply makes sure that on wide devices it works fine, but then if we squeeze our window down, we don't lose anything. So you can see our picture resizes, we keep our search bar, and if we actually scroll down here, you'll notice that this entire column actually just scoots underneath our post. Um, however, as I said, there is a problem, and as you can see here, our form is not behaving uh, very well in this case. So these two fields are fine, um, but this is being truncated as, as well as our, our select item, and then we're actually losing one of our radio items right here, right? So if you know, I scoot over, I can see it, but if we're on a phone, we wouldn't even see that. Uh, so what's the solution for that? Well, uh, whenever we build a form in Rack Forms, that is just by clicking this little green button right here, um, we always have our job name. In this case, it's this job name is responsive. And then you'll notice that in our URL right here, we have the word responsive. And what that basically means is we've built this form and RackForms has actually created a folder on our server server um, that contains the, the, the contents of that form. Um, the key is that when we build a form, we automatically get a mobile version for free, right? RackForms just takes whatever we designed here and it creates a mobile version. And we can actually see that mobile version at any time by taking our job name and putting dash mobile after it. So in this case, by doing that, we get this. Very similar to the form that we just saw, of course. In fact, basically everything's the same. Only now, you'll notice it follows what we call the responsive web design tenant. So we resize the page and everything stays the same. And this includes um, complex elements too. So it's pretty easy to make form fields stretch across, but in this little, what we call a bucket right here, we're making sure that even these guys uh, stay visible at all times. And again, this happens for free. So in theory then, if I wanted to, I could do this to my iframe code. So I could take this dash mobile right here, and I could simply edit my post so that my iframe source is the dash mobile version of that page. So I'll do that right now, update my page. And now when I look at my post, you'll see that now we're getting the mobile version of our, of our page. And now you'll see that things resize properly. However, it's still not perfect. And as you may have just noticed right there, we have our submit button right here, but because iframes uh, are static, they have a, a set size, because we're actually re uh, resizing the contents of the iframe, we actually uh, lose our content to the bottom of the iframe right there. So we haven't actually really solved anything. If we had small devices, now we can see more elements, but we actually can't submit it. So of course that doesn't help either. Now the simple solution for this is that we would just make our iframe bigger. So I go to my edit post and I could just change my height to let's say 700 pixels. And now when I update this, our iframe is taller and therefore when I resize my page, we never lose our submit button, right? So everything just works. So we can do that if we want to and RackForms is very proud to give you the ability to do that, right? We're not gonna force you into doing uh, anything uh, specific. However, there's a much easier way and I love this. Um, and that is, uh, let's actually undo these two changes. So let's just put this back to the standard bone stock iframe code. So we'll get rid of the dash mobile and we'll set its height back. And again, this is, this is what we have when we do that, right? So we've got just our standard version of the form here, doesn't resize. We have a plugin. And the plugin is just called the RackForms iframe uh, resize plugin. And all we have to do is we just activate it here. And zero configuration. Now we get this. So we get the mobile version of the form brought in for free. 
but, and this is uh, the solution to that last little problem that we saw, it actually has JavaScript code that's going to resize our iframe in real time. So as you recall, when we made the iframe bigger, we had a bunch of space underneath here. And that's really undesirable, especially if this form is in the middle of a post. We'd have, you know, just blank space. Um, now, as you can see, it resizes beautifully. We don't waste any space, and we're automatically resizing the form. So now, a mobile user is going to get nice wide fields, easy to click on, and they're going to make sure that they see all of the form. Um, and again, the key here is this happens completely for free. If you're using WordPress and you want to design forms and you want to make sure they work perfectly for mobile um, without zero, without any work, uh, we just use the RackForms uh, iframe plugin. If, however, we want to be more specific, we don't need to use the plugin, of course, and we can simply go on a case-by-case -case basis uh, embedding our iframes and just tweaking things to use the mobile version uh, and possibly changing height as needed. But again, completely up to us. I love the automated approach, um, but we can do whatever we want. And that's really, um, as you may have heard me say in other videos, that's one of the core tenets of Rack Forms, is giving you the power, not only to have it easy, but also uh, to do things custom when you want to as well. So uh, that is basically that. If you have any questions about this or anything else on RackForms.com, please drop us a line at info at RackForms.com. Always love to hear from you, and uh, thanks for taking the time to uh, check this video out.